Hey, what's up? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to do the wobble bass or the dubstep bass effect in Pro Tools 8, made famous by all those guys, Scream, Rusko, Casper. It's real big right now, so let's check it out. What you want to start off with to get that bass sound and dubstep is a sub bass. So here is the sub bass. And then what you want to do is, well, what, what I've done is I've basically recreated the same performance, just copied the same performance on another instrument track, but I've changed it up, changed up the sound slightly. So let's just hear that one. It's the same preset on the vacuum plugin that I'm using for these bass sounds that comes with Pro Tools. It's just I've changed up the sound slightly on the one that, that I want to do the wobble on. So, uh, you know, the key to getting those huge bass sounds is layering the bass. So you can keep layering this as much as you want, you know, with different notes in there and different pitches, you know, to get some really crazy effects going on. But mainly what you want to focus on to get that wobble is the filter cutoff. So when you open your vacuum plugin, you can enable, open the automation, and then enable the filter cutoff and I'm, I put in the arpeggiator rate just you know maybe I want to use the arpeggiator in there to get some different effects going so go on that track that you want to do the wobble enable your automation I'm gonna do touch and what's great is on my MIDI controller I'm using a M audio axion keyboard MIDI controller and the mod wheel for this preset that I've chosen it is the filter cutoff so I'm going to use the, the mod wheel in, in real time to record that data it's just a lot easier for me and you can really feel the groove more than just drawing it in but you know you can draw it in with the pencil tool as well okay so on this for record Let me zoom out just slightly and I'm going to record that filter cutoff data. Okay, so as you can see, all that automation data was written in. And let's just hear it with both bases together and the drum beat. You know, it's fairly simple. So let me just um, add another. Let's just see. I'll, I'll do the arpeggiator rate. I'm going to have to turn the arpeggiator on in that plugin. The vacuum plugin, which comes with Pro Tools. And then I'm just going to freehand the pencil tool. Just to see, you may get some real weird stuff, crazy stuff going on. So now let's hear these. So obviously, you know, you'll make it fit your track a little bit better. But, you know, I'm showing you the possibilities out there. You could really make that wall of bass wobble, you know, adding the arpeggiator to it and, you know, even other parameters in that plugin. You can always get in touch with Justin at WingSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WingSound.com.